Hey guys, Chris from Pro Release Audio Installation, and today what we're going to be doing is adding a backup camera to this uh, MK5 Volkswagen Jetta. We're going to show you how um, this radio is compatible with the camera, and we're going to show you how to run all the cable. Um, we're not going to show you how to pull the factory or aftermarket radio out because we already have a video showing how we replace this radio. And it goes through step by step on how to pull all that out. So go ahead and check that out. We'll have that link in the description. This video will show you how to run the, the backup camera wire from the radio all the way to the trunk, how to mount the camera on the license plate frame, how to tap into the reverse light for power and trigger, and uh, reassembly. Provo Beast Audio Installation Channel is sponsored by NVX and Sonic Electronics. Get 10% off all speakers, amplifiers, wiring kits, and more with coupon code PBAI at NVX. Also get 5% off all car audio components at Sonic Electronics with coupon code PROVOBEAST. So let's quickly then jump here to running the camera, plug it into the back of the radio, and running it down up underneath, underneath the kick panel into the rear of the car. For the backup camera install, we've now popped our aftermarket radio out and we've run our cable. Alright, so we went ahead and plugged in our video wire. We ran it down up through the dash. Up underneath, we just popped this lower panel down with three different screws. Alright, so with this panel popped down, we got our backup camera wire. Ran that all along this side to about right here. Now we're going to pull this panel up and just start tucking it back underneath the panel, working our way to the back of the car. Alright, so we're going to keep tucking this um, backup camera wire just up underneath this panel. Now you can just do a tuck kind of like this, up underneath the panel. Just because the gauge of the wire is small enough that you don't really have to take the full panel off, you are more than welcome to. And generally they're just held on with clips along the way. But this is pretty uninvasive and it's easy just to run that all the way back uh, without having the wire getting caught on anything. So we'll do that all the way to the back trunk area. Okay, so we just kept tucking the wire. We tucked, tucked, tucked. We ran up underneath the seat and we're at to this point. Now we're gonna tuck it along the trunk liner all the way to the rear tail light area. Okay, at this point we have just pulled this on back and ran our camera wire. Now we can pull this back a little bit and we're going to feed the wire up underneath and then as you can see here right here is our grommet that we're going to have to go through and it's this grommet that we're going to run our own wire alongside of it through this grommet up into the trunk area because the license plate is actually in the lid not in the bumper it's going to be a little bit tricky but we're going to give it a shot okay so we fished our wire just up back here and unfortunately it's too short so, what we've done here is we've picked up a coupler, an RCA coupler, and we had just have another RCA that will plug it in, and we poked a hole through this grommet, and since our RCA trigger wire, which triggers the radio to go in reverse, we have to extend that too. So I have a nice long piece of just red wire that I had laying around. I put a butt connector on there and we'll tape that up and I since I've just poked a hole using uh, just use a screwdriver it's soft enough just the hole so you can fish that wire through what we'll do is kind of tuck that back up in there now we have our RCA extension and trigger wire extension and since we're not going to try to fish it through the factory loom we have this little teeny quarter inch loom and we're going to re-loom it and run it on the factory loom poke another hole up here as well so we can run it up in the trunk cavity okay so we've run our split loom wire poked another hole in this grommet so we could fish our RCA and trigger wire through and what we're going to do now since we've loomed it all and zip tied it all together it looks nice and tucked away so it just doesn't get pinched on anything it's just out of the way and it'll fold nicely here uh, in the truck lid jam here now at this point we need to pop this off 
which will allow us here to run our cable. Okay, so what we've done here, we have actually just loosened the bolt so we can run the cable through there because I don't want to drill through this metal and risk rust or um, corrosion. Um, so what we've done here, this is a rubber seal around it so it'll just, uh, we won't do it super tight but it will seal and we don't want it to pinch but allows us to run it without drilling any holes here in the rear deck. The way we've done that, up underneath, there's some 10 millimeter nuts and we'll show you here, right up underneath. We've un there's a few nuts that we've loosened allows to get us that access so when we put the nuts back in we'll put a seal up around the wire here on this part we have our trigger wire and our uh, video wire to the radio and the trigger wire we've run up to this which is our reverse light um, the green here is our positive and the brown is our negative what we've done is we've just tapped into those and we've hooked our red wire into the green. Both the power wire for the, the camera as well as the trigger wire for the radio, we've hooked it all together. As you can see, all three are twisted together. And then our black is our ground to our camera. Now this guy is connected and this is gonna power our camera. And then as you can see, it's plugged in there. And then our RCA extension is also plugged into the video wire. We're gonna pretty this up. We're gonna follow along the factory wiring here, zip tie everything nice and snug, and we'll test it to make sure it works before we button it all back up. So at this point, we're gonna put these nuts back on, tighten this up, clean up our wiring, tape this up, and uh, replace and put on our rear cover uh, for the hatch. Okay, so we got everything zip tied to the factory wiring, everything's tightened down, we're good to go. Let's put this guy back on. Okay, so let's put our key in for a backup camera. Now, if you want to see how we install this radio, just go ahead and uh, check out the description. We'll have a link there for that video. Okay. All right, well, we're looking at the ceiling because the trunk lid's open, but that's it. It works great. Then we we'll pull it out of reverse. There we are. That's it. If you have any questions about this install, just go and post a comment below. Thanks, guys, for watching the channel. Uh, appreciate you watching this uh, backup camera for this Volkswagen Jetta. And uh, we'll certainly see you in the next video.